You know the phrase, the grass is always greener. And we kind of know what that means. And one day, like I legit was like looking out at my neighbor's yard and I'm like, their grass looks so great. Like I was thinking this, like I had green grass envy. And I was like, their grass looks so amazing and look at mine and I can see all my dead spots and I could see how beautiful their grass was. Later that day, I went to go check the mail and I'm walking by their lawn and when I was like right looking at their lawn, I was like, oh, their lawn actually looks like mine. But from far away, it looked green, it looked great. And so then I turned around and because now I wasn't looking directly at my lawn, but my lawn was in a distance, mine actually looked good. And I was like, oh. And so I've always thought about this phrase, especially you know when I look at my, my green grass or my not green grass and my neighbors. And how we do that with each other's lives. That's where the phrase kind of comes from. Like doing that, looking at someone else's life, looking at their Instagram life or looking at, you know, their Christmas card life and going, wow, they have it so awesome. And here I'm like, you know, I can't even get dressed today. Right? Is that kind of what we do or we find ourselves doing? And, you know, I love the, I love the phrase, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. And we don't know what's going on. So just this morning, I ran into my neighbor. And so I got in selected for jury duty, which I've never done. And I want to do it so bad. And everybody's like, why do you want to do that so hard? But I've never, ever, ever. So I was supposed to go today and I was so excited for this like I got it like a month ago and I was so excited and you call a number and I called the number yesterday and they're like actually we don't need you and I was so depressed and I'm like literally great now it's Monday <laughs> I'm gonna sit around and do laundry all day no reason for me to even get dressed like it just put me in a bad mood so I was telling my neighbor this as we were walking home from school this morning and she's like are you kidding me? She goes, I look at your life. You have such a great life. Like, because I was complaining about how bored I'm going to be today and I want to go do something. And she's like, oh, you do, you know, you do this charity work, you do this, you teach and you, and she's listing off all this stuff. And so she goes, I look at you and I think, oh, you, you have such, she literally said glamorous. I'm like, uh, let's step back a bit. Maybe you need to redefine what glamorous means. But it was funny because she looked at, and at me like, wow, you're doing all these great, amazing things. And I was like, I literally have, I'm going to be so bored today being stuck in my house doing laundry and maybe I need to change what day I do laundry. I don't know, but it was see, see the difference. And it kind of made me look back and go, yeah, actually, I do have a lot of things I do. And I, you know, it was, it was nice to hear from her, you know, like, you know, you're super involved in it. And she's super involved in a lot of things. We're just involved in different things. And that's exactly it. She looks at mine and goes, wow, I wish I was doing those. And I look at hers and... Actually, no, I don't want to be involved in the PTA, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but she does a lot and she does amazing, great things too. And so we beat up on ourselves and we think, you know, as we're in the thick of our lives, we know all our weaknesses. We know all the, the dirty closets. Like literally I could open up this closet right now and you guys would die. You know, I just, we know all that stuff about ourselves, but that's not... Don't judge yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. But then also, you know, I don't like it when you think, oh, well, they look nice, but I bet they don't have it all together. Don't even do that. Just love each other and just be like, that's awesome. I'm glad they're doing good. You don't have to say, well, I, you know, we don't have to tear each other down. Let's just build each other up and just be like, hey, she's dressed and her kids are all together. That's awesome. Not I'm worse or not I'm sure other things are bad in her life. I mean, they probably, who knows? Maybe she has an amazing life. That's great. But let's not tear each other down or compare ourselves to someone else. 
it's never equal. I tell my kids all the time, I don't, they feel like I compare them and I'm like, you guys legit, I don't because you guys are all so different. And that's the worst thing I could do is compare you guys to each other because you're so different. So don't do that. Let's just, you know, appreciate the things we're doing. And if we need to be better, then try to be better in certain areas. If not, I'm, I'm sure you're doing great. Comparison is the thief of joy. And don't tear others down. Just be happy that they're happy. Just be grateful that, hey, they got it. That's awesome. They figured it out. They Or, you know, whatever. But who cares? Who cares? Just, you know, love each other. Be happy. Be positive. Spread the joy. <laughs> so those are my thoughts for today. Have a wonderful day. I will have a fun day doing laundry, but that's okay. That's just, I love laundry. My kids are lucky. I'm lucky I have a washing machine. I'm lucky I'm not doing it by hand. I'm lucky that I'm not going to the dry cleaners. Just look at all the good. Spread the joy. Have a wonderful day.